Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition. Yes indeed, we're here once again in the Dianne's Keep, trying to accomplish two missions. The first mission of course is to loot and plunder the place for all it's worth. Rescue tax. The second goal is to rescue Lord Dianne's of course and also receive a reward. So far the first part of that goal is going relatively well. We've got a few bits and bobs from a few chests and whatnot. So uh, we're hoping that there's more lucrative items elsewhere in the keep and we shall keep our eyes peeled for said items whilst we enact our rescue. Anyway, before we continue on with the session proper, just a couple of things to note. This is uh, I'm recording this session today on Wednesday, um, straight after work. So it has to go up uh, uh, this evening, so I, I'm not going to have time for any after narrative. Um, this won't always be the case. Uh, I will be recording sessions in advance, but uh, the way things have panned out this week and the, 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 you know, the, the, the change to my plan and how I'm approaching the channel is just sort of kicking in now, so I'm just uh, getting into the swing of things. But for situ I, I do enjoy the narrative portions of, of, of this uh, LP, so uh, I will be continuing with that when uh, I'm recording sessions and have more time to do the narrative. But for times like this where I don't have time to do the narrative, what I'm doing instead is I am preparing narrative to deliver during the live uh, recording of the session, to deliver it live if you will. So some, some topics to discuss, some law to discuss, uh, maybe game mechanics aspects, you know, anything that I might discuss in the narrative portion, you know, the interactions between the party members, what they might have been up to when they've been camping, who's been, you know, arguing with who, all that kind of thing. Uh, preparing that before the session starts so that I can deliver it all live so there's no after narrative messing around. So I've done a, I've done a little bit of that uh, before today's session, so we'll, I've got a few things to go through. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And uh, there was something else. But I can't remember. It'll come to me when I'm plodding along. So uh, what we were going to do is we were going to head outside into the courtyard to lower the drawbridge for Captain Arat to try maybe divert some of the trolls away from the keep so we can loot it in peace. <laughs> and also um, see what's out there. So yes. without further ado, let's go forth and destroy some trolls. It shall be. Oh, it's the night time. I should have perhaps checked that before rushing outside because, of course, Hexat does suffer in sunlight. <laughs> Something I need to get used to, but thankfully it's dark, so she's fine. Right, we have a well, we have a courtyard, we have uh, not much else. This is really awkward as well, I, because uh, it's bright outside. My blinds are closed, but uh, there's a little bit of light filtering through. And I'm struggling to see the screen. Okay. So this is an art yug. We have faced one of these in the depths of Uranicus's uh, playpen. So this should be fine. They do cause disease and I think slow you as well. So we have to be a little bit careful. What is my task? Ooh! Hexat on the wrong weapon. She did hit with the flame arrow though, so we'll, we'll give her a Jew. She's a crack shot with that bow, I tell you. She really is. Okay, it's down. Pretty swiftly. Well dealt with team. Just make sure everybody else is on the right weapon here. Yes. I am ready. Yes, I am. Okay, good stuff. Consider it done. So we'll just kind of explore as we go along. Right, so what I wanted to discuss with you then in terms of uh, what I've got prepared for today's uh, now, narrative portions, live narration here, uh, is spells. Oh yes, we have a mage in our party, Airy, and uh, she, oh no, <laughs> oh hell. I, could, I can barely see them in the darkness, but uh, I seem to see here uh, four dogs, Sparky, Oh look, one of them's running in between the party, probably licking Aerie's hand. Uh, Rex, Spot, and Rover. Let's just refresh ourselves. 
about the situation when it comes to dogs, shall we? I'm sure you haven't forgotten. But, uh, oh, it didn't come on here, I don't think. It didn't come on here. <laughs> but I shall remind you. We were told that uh, some uh, nasty creatures in the dungeon of the keep, they like um, dog stew. And you need four pieces of dog meat to make the stew. And there's four dogs here. Oh dear. The reason why I'm perturbed by this uh, find, revelation if you want to call it, is uh, I like dogs. I'm a dog person. I have a dog. But uh, when it comes to loot and plunder and enacting a rescue in the simplest way possible, without needing to get your hands dirty if necessary, um, Godan isn't a dog person. He's a money person. So much to the horror of some of the party, namely Airy, uh, who's just had her hands licked by, was it Sparky? I can't remember. Rover? No. Uh, Godan is going to proceed to do the grim work here. So if you're a dog lover, avert your eyes now. This isn't going to be pretty. But Godan, getting things done, hopefully as quickly as possible. I honor you shall not see another day. Oh god! The rover's down. And the rest of the dogs just innocently trotting about. Oh, they are hostile. But not attacking. They're meek little creatures. Oh, there goes Sparky. Who's next? Go down chasing after dogs in the courtyard of the, of the keep. I mean, if it wasn't so horrifically perverse, it'd be funny. There goes Spot. Sure. Sure, Cog is having a chuckle to himself. I think Aerie's got her back turned to the situation. Listening to the dogs yelping and screeching as Godan's axe plunges it. Uh, too many. Too, too graphic? Too graphic, perhaps? Yes. Okay. Yes. Dog meat. And uh, not the Fallout version. Oh dear. Not good. Not good at all. Right, you can you can now look again, uh, dog lovers. Uh, the, the the grim task has been completed. As he uh, stuffs the uh, freshly, oh look at this, the freshly procured. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, he's too far away. The freshly procured uh, dog meat probably still warm here. And containers full. We had this in the last session, didn't we? When it came to um, when it came to the stacking the darts and stuff. It seems to be acting very strangely. This bag. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't like stacking certain things. Okay, we'll stack them here instead. Can we stack them here? Or maybe it just allows you to put a certain amount so you can't abuse it. I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. Anyway. For his troubles, Godan's going to have to carry the loot himself. The, the smell of the dog meat lingering wherever he goes. Okay. So, uh, we come out here. There's a way up and there is a door here. I'm just going to put... Ah, oh, this will probably be the other entrance to the first level that we were on. So, we'll go upstairs. Very well. So there's a door there, which leads to the upstairs portion of the uh, of the keep, which we'll bear in mind because we can get to upstairs via the inside. So we'll kind of just go around the outside. I think we'll have the um, hex out do this bit using her what would you have scouting knowledge. Very good. Yeah. 
Okay, so back to what I had prepared to discuss with you guys. Uh, spells, yes, wizard spells. What I'm doing is I'm actually going through all of the wizard spells and the priest spells in the game, reading up on them to get a bit more knowledge about them so I can make better use of them right. when required. No one here but us so I've gone through the level 1 and level 2. I feel as if I shall fall into the sky of yours sometimes. Uh, level 1 and level 2 wizard spells. And uh, Nira is coming to our party very soon enough, I am sure. And uh, these will be the spells that she will be uh, she will be scribing into her book and using more often than not. Some of the more useful spells, because some of the spells are, you know, not good for the level that we're at. Um, some might say useless, and some of them are, are, are much better. And that goes across the entire spell range. So, picking out some of the more useful spells. That's right. no one here but now, before I do this, I will also be stating that... Um, obviously, this is my second playthrough of this game. So, unlike a blind playthrough where I don't do any reading at all about the game, I don't want anything to be spoiled, I want everything to be a surprise. Um, in a blind playthrough, I don't mind things being a little bit spoiled. And also, it gives me the opportunity to perhaps read up on certain things, not in advance of where I am, but like reading up on spells and also trying out cheesy tactics and exploits just to see how much easier things can be if you bend That's the right. rules a little bit. No which I wouldn't maybe chance. ordinarily do in a blind playthrough because I wouldn't know about some of these tactics, but I'm kind of interested to play this game and try some of these little cheesy tactics out. Not overuse them, but just to see how they work and how much easier they may have made my first playthrough. Just because I remember from memory some of my first, uh, uh, well, my playthrough, some of the battles were very difficult. So, anyway, opening the gates first. Draw 29,000 experience for opening a bloody drawbridge. Goodness me. So, uh, yeah. I bring this up now because some of the spells uh, can be used for particularly cheesy tactics so uh, I will highlight said tactics when we go through the particular spells in question. So anyway, starting with the level 1 spells, I think we've, is that the, is that the uh, courtyard explored now then? Dog kennels? <laughs> yeah, and gate lever. I think, yeah it is, I think we're good. So we'll go back down to the uh, ground floor and we shall... Uh, Make the stew and then go upstairs. On my honor. Yeah. Ah. Eh. Giant troll. Where did he come from? Hang yes. fire, lads. Hang yes. fire. Yes. Hang fire. You are lucky I'm here. We have guests. If that is what you want. We could actually go upstairs. We don't have to go back downstairs if we don't wish, but. Full unconscious. What is my task? What's going on? It shall be. I wonder if we get exp Oh, of course, the guard. He's drawing them out, isn't he? Yes, that's the whole purpose of draw lowering the bridge to draw the trolls away. Okay, well, we'll just let them crack on. We'll go through the upstairs door then. Oh, it goes to the roof. Not. I'm Interesting. We'll let them crack on with their fighting down below and we'll uh, That's right. Certainly. Just explore the roof instead. Oh, there is uh, a yarn tea up here. Uh, two yarn tea up here. Although there's no particular loot really. So. That's right. No loot. No one here but us shadows. Still no loot. No chests. Which makes me think we'll probably just leave these guys be. If there's nothing to loot and plunder, then uh, we're interested in killing things for the sake of killing things. That's right. No one here but us shadows. There is a door here. This might be the door inside. Oh, a troll. Okay, that's fine. Door inside. That's right. No one here but us shadows. Uh, 
catapults. Right, so we'll probably go in this, in fact. Debate whether to go in the door here, or go back down to the ground level and see how Captain Aras got on against the RNT and the giant trolls that have escaped outside to the courtyard. Consider it done. You know what? Let's go down. Let's have a look. Let's have a peek. Still a greater Yanti there. Ah. Rain death upon them and let despair be our vanguard. Okay. That's right. The battle still rages on. Yes. Uh oh. What is my task? Now swing. Uh oh. What can I do? Faster than to keep it fast. Ooh, he was going for Harry then. You see that? Could have been Harry. Oh, Ooh, it's running. It's running. It's in fear. So he's running right into the path of the second one. Yes, it shall be. I grow it now. Task. Too late. On my honor. Intercept. Yes. A solid hit. Chunky pied. Nice. How much was that? Twenty-four damage. Okay. Consider it done. Well played, team. Well played. Let's pop our heads in here and see see what we're dealing with. Oh my! Uh, hi guys. Uh, we've got a troll. We've got a Yanti mage. And uh, an ice troll uh, kind of just popped out in an inopportune time, right on top of them. <laughs> As we barge the door open, boof, probably knocking the yarn team mage flying. What oh, the hell is this intrusion? Intruders, Torgal shall be pleased with the gift of your corpse. I do so regret that I shall have to dirty my hands in obtaining it. Um, yeah, whatever. On my honor. Do you know who you're facing here, my friend? What do you want, Groundling? No, mere small fry. This is Godan and Company. Better. I oh, can't save during combat. Oh, damn. Um. Just I in know. case, it is a spellcaster. It's a mage. We're going to cast. Um. Where's her insect plague? Have we used it? Summon insects. Animal summoning. What? Her? Spellbook seems to be. Why has she got animal summoning one? I don't know. Anyway, uh, insect plague to interrupt. Everybody else should be fine as they are. We'll just use a couple of spells to make sure. Magic missile just to interrupt. It's a quick cast. Conyers will just attack with bullets. Corgan's going for the troll and go down is fine attacking the mage, right? This little ice troll here hopefully won't prove, prove to be too much of an issue. Ooh. Ice troll sequencer strength. Ice troll improve is going invisible. Hasted, fired. The anti mage has been protected by different bits and bats. Okay, this might not be quite so straightforward as we thought. Uh, okay, we'll just keep going. Are we hitting it? Oh, it looks like it's got spell reflection on. 
The magic missiles have repelled or re re reflected into her face. Uninjured. This could be a problem. This could be an issue. Right. Instead, we'll take down the ice troll, I think. I am yours to command. I am ready. So it's one less thing to deal with. Jahira will still summon insect plague in the hope that it might still cause interrupt. It's hasted. It's near death. Is somebody else afflicted with the plague? She's afflicted with something. Miscast magic. Ay, ay, ay. Right. Go down. Gonna switch his attention to the um, Barla's axe here, which is a uh, miscast magic on hit. On my honor. Against the mage. Corgan's still taking control of the troll. Speak your mind. We're gonna um, switch to. God damn it. Switch to uh, plus one bullets with our slingers here. Guides my we could really do with uh, not uh, coming a cropper. You need something? Nature's servant awaits. Victory shall be ours. Yes. You know this. Well, we're going to fire at him. Uh, you're hitting him with the axe. This, he should go unconscious pretty shortly. He's taking control of him. No for those who oppose us. Are we hitting this thing? What is going on? Spell protection is removed. That's fine. Secret word. What is it doing? I do. I think the insect plague has bounced back into uh, Jahira by the looks of it. Vitos. Is that unconscious? It's on the floor. I think it might be unconscious. Right. Yep, it's down. The anti mage is proving to be quite irksome. Yes. Die quickly, fool. They're still firing. Perhaps if we cast something help help to, dis to dispel magic uh, effects, remove magic. Try that. Remove magic. They're still firing. Uh, Godan's still trying to hit him with the axe of uh, Barla's axe. He's still taking control of the troll. It's near death. Right, barely injured, but it seems to be um, seems to be taking damage now. We're gonna try another spell on it. Let's try. Uh, What can I do? Okay. I want to try it with Airy if we can help it. She's. Uh... This is a lot more exciting than any. If anything reflects on her, she's going to be dead. What is my task? Let's try. Uh, we we'll go down. Let's try a, a minor drain. See if that goes through. that go through? Well, Alex Minor Drain on the anti mage. The anti magic resistance. God, this is. I do not know what protections he's got. We don't have pro the kind of spells that we need to remove those protections at this current moment in time by the looks of it. Right, what's this? Zone of Sweet Air? No. On my honor. Okay, 
Hopefully the uh, the melee and the bullets will uh, will go through. You are lucky I'm here. Right, everybody on this mage, please. Okay, the mission's town, thankfully. Bloody hell. Um, we've just, just summoned in two trolls, I think. Might be time to rest soon. I think Jordan's got the wrong axe on now. There we go. Assistance. Jesus, we are suffering here. We are suffering, suffering big style -y. Fear nothing. I'm watching your back. Things have just ramped up a notch. Bark your orders, oh, On my honor. You need something? We're going to be resting soon now, so we'll need some spells. Acid arrow. It should help uh, kill it off with the acid DOT. Gracious, uh, yeah, a bit buggered, just a, just a smidgen buggered. <laughs> we are upstairs, I believe. Yeah, in the upper level of the keep. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to leave um, Hexa to uh, just have a, a wee wander around, see if, we, if she can uh, get her bearings and pulls in the know as to where we might be and where we might wish to go. That's the best you can manage? That's right. I can do that. And in the meantime, I shall We have such stories amongst continue my on. Being underground is just not for the Avariel. Shut up. Uh, we shall continue on with the uh, with the wizard spells that I have researched that will be uh, used by Nera when she eventually joins the party. Ooh. Keep key. Congenus at Earth Elemental. Okay. So the first one that uh, is on the list of spells that Nero will be uh, learning, if she doesn't already have it, or will be keeping an eye out for it at the very least, will be uh, Friends. Uh, a spell that boosts charisma by 2d4 and uh, that particular spell obviously is very useful when it comes to um, where are they going they are going there when it comes to dealing with merchants because merchants um, there we go there's a fine good stuff uh, merchants base the prices on a rea reaction, I think it's called. The master key to Nali's keep should open most of the doors. It's very handy that we've come across that now. So it's based on reaction, uh, and reaction is determined by two things. The party's reputation, uh, which currently stands at sort of neutral, really, I think, from, from memory. Uh, average, yeah. And also the charisma of the character that is in the top position. That's what I think uh, leads to uh, the overall reaction uh, that you get from uh, anybody that you speak to, including merchants. And merchants' uh, prices are based on um, that level of reaction. So, in, what is my in terms of the charisma, Godan is the party leader. Hmm. That's as you wish. So it's based on his charisma, the prices that we get, and uh, therefore casting friends on him before any purchases or sales will just give us that extra edge when it comes to uh, when it comes to merchant pricing. And of course, go down is all about saving coin That's wherever right. possible and no making coin. Every coin saved is a coin earned. Yeah. 
So where there's no enemies, uh, I think we'll just loot freely with, uh, with, our, with our resident thief. So that's the first spell that will be of use to us. The second spell on the level 1 list is the spell of Magic Missile, of course, which levels up with the character. Uh, the further you get into the game, the less useful it becomes in terms of its pure output damage. But it's a great spell for removing mirror images of mages, and they're quite fond of using mirror image, so we'll always have I am ready. some magic missiles on hand. Impressive. The next spell is Nehal's Reckless, uh, Reckless Dreamer, which is a, a wild mage spell, which of course Nera is a wild mage. Right. And that allows you to cast spells in your spell book, including higher level spells that you can't ordinarily cast because you're too low level. So if you want to cast some higher level spells in your earlier levels, then using Nehal's Reckless Dreamer is a great way to do that. So that will be a spell that she will be learning. Uh, what else we got? We got uh, Shield, which is a pretty decent protection spell for a level 1 spell. It's a quick casting spell. It means... Ooh, it, Dalesons come upstairs. He gets around, doesn't he? It, al it allows you to become immune to magic missile. It also... Increases your... Or decreases, rather, your AC against both melee and missile attacks. And it lasts for five real life minutes so it's uh, quite a handy uh, protection spell what pick fail really she is at her maximum capacity isn't she her maximum abilities yeah oh that's gonna bug me aha success patience wins through Was it worth it? Probably not. Okay. So yeah, shields are particularly useful spell to have. Uh, memorized if you've got the slots to do it. A couple extra uh, bullets as well. So the next spell on the list is uh, at level 1 and the final level 1 spell out of the vast, uh, vast plethora of them is uh, Spook. It's a, a spell where the enemy perceives the caster as some foul being and runs as, as far away from them as possible. Which could be irksome if you're trying to chase them down, but ordinarily gives you a bit of breathing room. As we continue just to move through here on her own, bless her. She's fearless, this woman. She's still in shadows. And uh, the reason why this is a particularly one of the better kind of horror based crowd control uh, spells, particularly at level one, rather than say sleep or blindness, is that the, uh, the enemies suffer a penalty to their saving throws. A lot of the other spells. Tell me, Harper, who was who with your parentage? Father the Darthia, Mother the Rivel, or Father Human, Mother Elven. It's always confusing with crossbred mongrels. <gasps> Viconia calling Jahira a crossbred mongrel? Goodness me! Two people in love, swine. A rain not likely to soak your parade of scabbed obscenity anytime soon. Oh dear. Once again, the party getting on swimmingly. I don't. Other than Godan? And K Corgan, who uh, fr you know get on well, none of the other party members get on. I mean, I think maybe Cor um, not sure how Corgan and Hexat will get on just yet, but Hexat and Godan as well kind of get on. But other than that, in terms of between themselves, these two don't get on. These two don't get on. These two don't get on. Not sure about these two just yet. Ari and Jahir have had a spat where, Jahir, where she commented on Jahira's hair. These two don't get on. I doubt Viconia likes Ari either. So any permutation, nobody likes each other. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Now, what was I saying? 
What would you easy enough? Before we were interrupted you know by um, squabbling party members. Something uh, in the half, perhaps? Yeah, is that to, it, the, the spook spell? Of course, the enemies suffer a uh, penalty oh. to saving throw, and the saving throw penalty increases with level up to a maximum of minus six to their saving throws. So that's why it's particularly good because it, it's harder for the enemies to save against it. Whereas some of the other spells at the level, um, especially given the higher level campaign, the enemies are more likely to, to, to um, save against the you other ones. And in some cases, even get a bonus to uh, to saves. Okay. So that's the level one spells that. Um, Fear not. I'm watching you. If that is what you want. We will be keeping an eye out for in terms of nearer learning them. Right, there's a troll there. I think we may continue to scout. Oh! Oh shoot! Oops, Daisy, she's uh, made a bit of a slip up. On my honor. We're gonna have to rescue her, aren't we? I will do my best. That's the best. Leave it to me. It's okay, it's not a problem. It's not a problem at all. Yes? Oh, oh, you just have to oh. speed, dear! Ay, ay, ay. Where's the troll? Yes. What is my task? Okay. Well, at least the party can move forward. Yes. That's the main thing. Just be a bit more careful, please, Hex. That's okay when you're scouting. We can't be there to save your life every time, you know. What would you have me do? I would have you continue to scout, but uh, a bit more caution, if you will. If you would like to hide in chat, she's probably still a little bit shaken up, bless Very her. Good. Quite a bit shaken up, obviously. <laughs> Extremely sh She's shaking like a leaf. Okay, now she's recovered. No one here but us shadows. Right, there's a door here. Let's have a quick peek inside. Ooh. This is the door to the stairs down. Or some stair. Some stairs. Whether they're up or down, I don't know. Maybe to the dungeon? Maybe a map pin will tell us. Stairs to the roof! Well, we've been to the roof. Although, maybe not this side of the roof. Not sure. Shall we pop our heads up? You are lucky if that is what you, you want. must gather your party before venturing forth. The entire party to go. We'll we'll bear that in mind. Uh, for now, we'll distract ourselves with forays onto the roof. That's right. No Having one here but us shadows. Ah, lunch on the roof terrace, perhaps. Perhaps not. Right. Okay. So moving on to the second level spells that I have earmarked as useful or more, more useful than some of the others at the level that Nero will certainly be memorizing into her book on my honor scribing into her book very well for potential use now, of course we can't get all these spells in our you know memorized at the same time I doubt uh, but uh, si situational there'll be some spells that we have on all the time and perhaps some of these spells will be more situational depending on our environment and what we expect to come across Obviously, we'll swap in and out as necessary. Not. I'm watching your back. Uh, but at level two, we have Blur, which is uh, basically just an AC bonus against missile and melee attacks, and a plus one to all that's saving right. throws. That's right. So that's um, another useful um, defensive spell, stacking with, of course, Shield, and perhaps some of the other defensive spells on the list. That's right. No one here but us shadows. <laughs> See ya, pal. Happy to collapse. 
And then time for you to die. Fall and stay fallen. Oh, look at that sots. She, she's a one-woman wrecking machine. Doesn't need a party to help her. I can do that. Can solve all these things. Okay, good stuff. Keep going. We'll bring the other party members. Yes. A little bit closer. Done. I am ready. Come on. As you wish. Definitely need to level up soon so we can use so we can put points into uh, hiding in shadows. That's right. No one here but us shadows. Surprised there's nothing in this fountain. Okay, we'll wait till, till she can hide again. So the next one is Chaos Shield, uh, a wild mage staple. It increases the uh, the coefficients of the wild surge rolls, so that you get a more favourable or, or more likely to get a more favourable result. So that's uh, pretty much a no-brainer for Nera. Uh, the next one is Glitter Dust. Which probably is the most useful spell at revealing invisible um, enemies. You, you know, you've got spells like Invisibility Purge, but Glitter Dust is a dual-purpose spell in that it just not doesn't only reveal enemies from their invisible state, but it also um, blinds them as well, or has a chance to blind them based on a saving throw which suffers negative penalties. So the saving throws right. suffer negative penalties no and the benefit of the spell is twofold. So having that memorized negates the need for any of the lesser invisibility purging spells. Ooh, ooh. Is that a giant troll? Just a regular troll, not a problem. We'll bring the party forward and then probably uh, Nature could find a home here if it were properly my task, cleansed and as you ask. Have her backstab, or try to backstab. So the door there. And where's that? I don't know. In fact, have we come across stairs down? Oh, there. Because we need to go and get the dog stew ready. At some point. On my honor, it shall be. What would you have me do? That's right. No one here but us shadows. Okay, let's get the right order of this. That's right. Impressive. Hmm. He's rather kindly got his back turned to us. Nice. 36 damage. Now that's much better. Better. Oh, it's fine. I think she's fine. She's done. She does this for a living, you know. Yes. Lil Alur, Masha. This thing should be falling anytime soon. What is my time? Consider it done. There we go. You are lucky I'm here. Not. I'm watching you. Easy enough. Yeah, she barely, she barely enough. misses with that, uh, with that, uh, with those fire arrows. She is a crap shot. We have such stories amongst my people. Being underground is just not for the Avariel. Uh, ooh, secret room. I can't get through this way though. Okay, so we have some arrows. Oh, too far away, too far away, too far away. That's the best you can manage. Okay. Very good. This video may stray a little bit over the 45 minutes. Hope you don't mind. We're just going to clear this entire floor if we can. Uh, of which there's quite a lot left unexplored, in fact. I wonder if we should leave the session here after all. We'll continue on for now. Um, so yes, more spells at level 2 for us that we will be learning. Uh, invisibility. Invisibility is a spell that makes you invisible. Yes, it shall be. Funnily enough. 
Now you can perform certain actions with invisibility without revealing yourself, such as some defensive spells and some actions uh, as well, uh, such uh, as I believe opening doors might leave you still invisible. Mm. But some, inv some actions reveal you, such as attacking, offensive spells and opening chests. If you do not reveal yourself from invisibility, then apparently it's supposed to last up to 24 hours. Which is a damn long time. Danny's guard, Lady Delcia Khan. Interesting. Do not disturb my duties. Oh. Hold! How did you get in here? Who are you? Oh, uh, sir. Go down Firehammer, here to ex uh, to uh, rescue somebody who's been accosted by some trolls, I hear? Miss Nalia sent us, we're saying. Oh, thank the gods! You gotta believe how relieved I am to see you! Not only have I been barricaded in here fighting against trolls, but you cannot believe the audacity of this woman! The Lady Delcia is the Lord's sister, and she is a trial! To say the least, I have been tempted to strangle her myself more than a dozen times. Uh, uh, I suggest you speak to the Lady Delcia further. She will decide what to do, I suppose. And it will be the first break I've had from her in days. I am. Ha. Here she comes. We'll make her walk a bit further. What is my considerate dud? Oh, it is like a nightmare. Yet more hooligans tracking the filth through the halls. I told you the commander, you'll get no more from me than condemnation. Marching into a home like this. <laughs> now again, we're not going to ins- if she's a lady of the house, we're not going to insult her. We do not wish, wish, wish to risk putting our reward in jeopardy by being rude. So... Explaining that we have come to rescue Whomever needs rescuing from this little predicament. Although Godan getting a bit confused between relationships, it's obviously not her daughter, it's her niece. She is the sister of the father. My daughter? You mean young Nalia? She is my niece. Her mother passed when Nalia was but two seasons. Caught some pestilence from those peasants she loved to coddle. I dare say I have tried to wean Nalia of such charities, but I have failed. Why else would such as you be here? You sound like a noble, but you are obviously more adept at arms and societal graces. Oh well, those that beg cannot afford to be choosy. At least, that is the phrase I have heard it. Shall we get to the business of a rescue? I assume that is what you are here for. Please do be quick about it. I am catching an alarming sniffle and could do with a warm fire. If I catch my death, I'll have the hide of the peasant in charge of the heat. You dare reprimand those who have died defending you? Even now they strive to protect you from evil you don't even understand. You could have been dead. Is it their lot to serve? And it is my lot to be served by them. Those that did not strive to protect this place will be docked wages for their laziness. Be thankful you do not manage such creatures. They are impossible. What am I saying? You will never need to worry about that. Just don't have the blood for it. Okay... <laughs> we can potentially kill her. We could kill her for her rudeness and pretend that the trolls did it. It's not her paying us the reward, is it? <laughs> but no, we don't want to risk it. Telling her she's free to leave swiftly from our presence, for our own benefit. For Godan is fearful of what his straight axe hand might do if he has to listen to this woman any longer. <laughs> well, nicely voiced for someone of dubious breeding. Perhaps, uh, no, no one must remember one station. One must remember one station. I will find Nalia. At least she stayed out of the ugh, combat. And if you would, Lord Dennis is still at the mercy of the beasts below. He is now his father, and I believe they are trying to get him to reveal something about a cache of go cache of gold. <laughs> I doubt he will say a word. He's as soft as Nalia at times, but he does not lower himself to dealing with his lessers. Do rescue him, will you? It is your duty, I believe. 
Look, only I think a month of tortures amongst the spiders of Lolf would remove her sense of superiority. The Elg Keres should know when she meets her betters, blood or no blood. Ah! I'd like it more if my duty was to pull the blue-blooded wench over my lap and show her her time like no lady. <laughs> Right, she's been rescued. She's left the keep on her own. Uh, the fact that she's left has been a blessing in disguise. I will do my best. Okay, right. There's obviously more to this uh, area to explore, but I, for the life of me, I can't see how to get there at the minute, unless I've missed a room or two. Ah! Speak of the devil. There's a hidden room. Right, but we'll definitely need to leave that until next time. But just to finish the session off, I will continue on with the uh, invisibility spell that we will be learning at level 2. As I said, it uh, can last for 24 hours without breaking. Um, can't open chests, but can open doors and, and cast some defensive spells. Now, when I said at the start of the session that I will be using some exploits that I've read about, to have a bit of a play and see how they work just for a bit of fun uh, this is one of the potential uh, many that i will come across and it involves invisibility and it's to do with the the, the 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 strategy of making one of your characters invisible and having them stand at a choke point for instance yes, Trust us for the foolish. in a doorway dead invisible so the cat so the opponents can't get past them they're blocked in and then the rest of the party pepper them from a distance they can't move, they end up dead. Very cheeky, very cheesy. But I may try it at some point. Right, that draws a close to today's session. Join me in the next one, when we shall head through this secret door, see where it leads. Um, but until then, I'll see you soon.